Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I have a personal plan with me for you today. This has been requested and I'm really excited to share it with you. I'm using a leftover kit from Little Miss Papery. I did a full plan with me in my Erin Condren with this kit. Sorry about the knocking, my sister was knocking on my door. I am using my usual pen gems and Cymbeline marking pen. I'm also using this slicky rose gold metallic pen that I got from Amazon. These are the Dutch door inserts from Jesenia Printables. On the side here, I like to write down a mantra for the week. So this week is from Danielle Doby. She just came out with her book, so I thought it was fitting. You just need to be willing to fail, to feel, to heal, to forgive, to forgive, to forgive, and to love again. And every week I like to put down, well, I'll go over that later. I'm putting down basically the foundation of the spread right now. So I like to put down the date on that little section up there with the bow. It's like the perfect place to put what day it is. And I'm again using my rose gold foiled pen, or not foiled, sorry, my rose gold metallic pen. I'm just putting a paper underneath because the ink does take longer to dry because it's a thicker like tip. So then I'm going to put down a full box and a half box on each day. And I had some trouble getting everything straight because normally I put my head like directly over the paper, but since I'm filming today or this week, I kind of struggled a little bit. I am still experimenting with these inserts. This is like the second or third week that I'm using them. So basically for each half box that I put down on the days, I like to put down a word that connects back to my mantra. In this week's plan with me, I put down the actual mantra sticker that's from my shop. But in the past, I have put down like heal or self-care and then I'll put down a little thing that I want to do that day that connects back to my mantra. Or if I don't have anything planned, I'll go back and put down something that I did do that day that relates to my mantra. Now this week I didn't fill out those half boxes on camera because sometimes it takes me a little bit of time to think about what I wanna put in there and sometimes it is more private. So I didn't fill it out in this plan with me but normally I do it like daily. Oh, that's the other thing. I do also plan these inserts daily so each day in the morning I'll fill it out and if I don't have anything planned, then I will go back at the end of the day and fill out what I did. So that's similar to my Erin Condren. So right now, again, I'm putting down a full box and a half box on each day. I don't really have a method to where I put it. Sometimes I'll change it up. Sometimes I'll do the same format. Like on Sunday here, I'm putting the full box and the half box on the same column. If I know that I have like a less busy day where I don't have as many little tasks to do, then I will put the full box on the left side to like cover up some of that checklist space. Now at the end of the week, there's a section here for priorities, habits, and a listing area. Don't really use the listing area, but I do track my happy mail, put down my priorities, and I didn't track any habits this week, I don't think. And in the things to do and don't forget section, I like to put down things that I want to remind myself to do throughout the week that's not like pertinent to a particular day. And then in the don't forget section, I will put down things that I want to remember for next week. Now I'm putting down the mantra stickers on every day like I said before. And the highlight of my day up at the top is from See Amy Draw. I like putting down a little highlight each day and I like it because Normally, I didn't do it for this week because I was filming, but normally I will put my inserts back in my planner after I fill it out and you can see the top throughout the entire week. So I really like that gratitude section there. Now I'm going to start planning out my days. So on Monday, I wanted to remember to register to vote. I also wanted to work on orders, drop them off at the post office and pick up some things from Whole Foods. And then I realized that I had to order some supplies for the shop and pay my credit card bill. So I put down that those icons are all from the kit. I tried to pull from the kit as much as possible. Then I put down a to-do header. I also wanted to edit a haul. The glittery laptop is from Little Miss Papery and the heart arrow and edit stickers are from my shop. I also wanted to paint my nails and the nail polish sticker is from Chrissy and Designs. 
On to Tuesday, I put down a today header and Carolyn and I, Carolyn from Carolyn Plans, we had lunch plans that day, so that was really exciting and I knew that I wanted to stop by Starbucks afterwards because it was right across from the restaurant that we were eating at for lunch. The Starbucks run is from J. Crew Plans. We also grabbed lunch in a mall, like an outdoor mall, so I did a little bit, or we did a little bit of shopping around afterwards. And then here on the left side, I'm putting down a checklist of some things I wanted to get done that day. On to Wednesday, the first thing that I put down was this big laptop that came in the kit. I basically worked on orders almost all day, well pretty much all day, and I was having a little bit of trouble with my silhouettes, so I decided to put that emoji, the one that says ARG with a silhouette from the Coffee Monsters Co. I caught up on YouTube and The Flash while I was working on orders, I also budgeted that day. On to Thursday, again putting down another header on the side there. I had some me time in the morning and then I dropped off my orders and grabbed a late lunch at Whole Foods. The emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Anything else that I don't mention came from the kit. Then I cut up a checklist to mark some things I wanted to edit and upload. So basically one of the voiceovers in a plan with me. And in the evening I went out to dinner with my sister and her friend. Then at night, I read I Am Her Tribe, which is the book that Daniel Dobie came out with, which I adore, and I have loved her writing for a long time. I highly recommend her book. I will link it down below. It is so beautiful. It is everything. On Friday, I put down a checklist for a bunch of things I wanted to get done, of course. On the left, I like to put down little things that I want to do, like things that are quite quick to do. The Sephora VIB sale was that day, which is exciting. I made some more inserts, and the printer sticker is from Fox and Cactus. Then my sister and I went out to pick up my brother from school. He was coming home, excuse me, for the weekend, and we got dinner and boba, so that was a really good time. On to Saturday here, we had family dim sum since my brother was home for the weekend. This family time sticker I adore and it came with the kit. I also put a little heart arrow to point to it. Then I'm filling out the checklist on the side here. I made an order with Amazon because I finally repurchased the hole punch, the Repesco one that I use for my inserts because I've been hole punching everything individually and I kind of messed up when I was making inserts. So I was like, I need one. I had one back when I was in San Diego and it somehow got lost when I moved back up. My sister made pumpkin cupcakes that day and I didn't have a baking sticker so I used this pumpkin pie from Paper and Milk instead. This adorable French press sticker is from Paper and Milk. I also put down a This Too Shall Pass on the full box that is hand lettered by Malika and this was a collab that I did with her that's in my shop. On Sunday, I had a really chill day. I basically just caught up on the flash and uploaded a video. So I put down the Lazy Day sticker that came with the kit, and then I put an upload sticker from my shop. So that is about it for the daily inserts. Let me show you what stickers I have left, a substantial amount considering I used this kit for two weeks. This is the finished spread. I did go ahead and fill out the highlights at the top on my own. Here's what the full week looks like. Again, these inserts are from Jesenia. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you in my next Dreamsgiving video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.